Hello to my Leos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Leos. Leos, the moon has moved into first quarter. That's right, first quarter in this cycle. First quarter moon is about putting action behind your intentions. We had a new moon in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, planet of good luck, good fortune, expansion, horizon. So Hopefully you all put together your list of your plans, your future plans, right? And you're sticking to those plans, right? While you're getting some rest. And so now it's time to put some action behind those plans, right? The cool thing about the moon moving into Pisces is while you're writing out those big dreams and all of those is that you can start to remember all the sacrifices your ancestors and uh, teachers, educators, mentors, all the sacrifices that people made for you to get to where you are right now. You can put all of that and is look at it, look at it kind of as like <clears throat> your your personal cheerleader section if you want, you know, and so you can kind of sort of block out all the other stuff, the negativity, right? Let's get into it, Leos. Let's get right into it. Let's get into it. Let's go. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. So anything that comes to mind since Mars is retrograde, which is a tower card, you have a total recall of a lot of things. Total recall. So that would be everything, right? Um, good, bad, everything in between. You can say, oh, I can pray for some other stuff. But right now, I'm making it all about me. I'm dreaming big. I'm trying to put lists together. I'm trying to organize some things. Um, good spirits, keeping your vibrations high, all of those things, right? So, yeah, you're trying to create something new and you're trying to protect it. This is the Ace of Cups. Yeah, you're trying to create something new. Trying to create something new, right? In a very meek way. You don't want to be in survival mode anymore. See this half um, lamb and then the half lion? Yeah, you want to sit... You want to sit um, on your throne in a very regal way. Somebody just doesn't want to be in survival mode anymore. You want to be like, you want to be, you want to have balanced out energy, right? <laughs> you don't want to um, say, I believe I can take a vacation every six months and then, or whatever you believe, because Pisces is the I believe sign. We're not talking about any Pisces that you know. But you want to believe in your dreams. You want to believe in your dreams. You want to believe that all the sacrifices were that were made before you were born, your your that baton was passed down through the generations, right? So that's what somebody is doing now. Somebody's like in a very meek way. You're starting to say, you know what? Why why am I in survival mode? Why am I still in survival mode mindset? What what is that about? Why would I want to put somebody else? Why am I projecting that onto other people? Why do I see it as a weakness to sit on a throne and let source fight your battles? Like, why Why do you see that as a weakness, right? So that's what somebody is starting to be. More of a, um, you know, meek as a lamb. That's a strength right there. Just to let source fight your battles, right? So source is giving somebody some time to do that. Hmm. Yeah, so it's time to thrive. You already pulled the sores out of your back. My hair blowing in the wind, whether it's your hair or not your hair, it don't even matter whether you man, woman, whoever, right? So it's, it's time for you to start thriving. It's time for somebody to get up. You already pulled the sores out of your back. People talked about your back. Okay, you're, heal, you're healing or healed. It's a new beginning for somebody, right? You're trying to be more conservative with your time. You know, you're not going to come across whether man or woman, you're dating, you know, a guy who seems like he's living a softer life. It doesn't make him less manly. You're not going to put him in a survival mode situation. You know, or if it's a woman who seems like she's living a softer life, you're not going to put her in a survival mode situation or whomever, your partner, significant other. So it's just like nobody should be in a survival mode, you know, situation, right? So source is saying... You know, you're learning how to be more conservative with your time. Learning how to be a little bit more conservative with your time, right? Because it sends out a message. It sends out a very con uh, confused message when you're always in survival mode. It sends a very confused message to people.
You know what I'm saying? Leos, if you if you show up at a job and you say, okay, you know, you're the one that's coming in and you, you're you trying to make a good impression when you first start a job. And I'm looking at this four pentacles here, like money, you know, physical existence of things. And you're you're always in competition mode. And so when do you have a when do you have a chance to take off the cape? And then you may be complaining, nobody's helping me because everybody saw you come in, you know, blazing a trail in the beginning when people wanted to help or people wanted to, you know, you know, see what well, like, oh, this person is in, in you know, got to be in the competition all the time. Like, whoa, step back. Right. So source is saying, you know, um, you're learning how to balance some things out. Learning how to balance some things out so you're not always in survival mode. It just sends the wrong message. It sends the wrong message. It sends a uh, it sends a dark magician energy instead of light magician energy, which is to send a clear message that hey, you know, even though you're ruled by the sun, everybody's a star. Everybody has a star slash sun sign, right? The sun is a star as well. So that's what it says. Like in a very meek, oh, I'm a team player. I'm a team player part of the human team, right? So something new is being created here, right? That's how you're going to save yourself. You're not looking for somebody else to save you when you end up in survival mode. And people are talking about you behind your back. So here we have the um, page of swords here. So I do feel like somebody, whatever anxiety somebody may ha have had, is going to be going away very soon. Some new seeds are being planted. Four and seven is 11. Somebody's getting off the fence, not giving you more time to something that may have, um, you may have been kind of on a fence about before and stepping into your own light. Somebody's not talking about anybody behind their back anymore and not worried about it. Somebody's talking about you behind your back. You're just moving on. Finally moving on. Here we have high priestess. Like finally moving on. It's not a competition. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Yep, somebody's making a decision to finally move on. Right. Lover's card is about partnerships, right? And if you're in a relationship with somebody and you want it to be harmonious, you're not talking down about somebody's family members, they're not talking down about yours, because that's not a partnership. Who's better? All of this other mess. Save yourself. Because if so, you might as well be by yourself, right? That's not harmony. So it's a new beginning happening here. So I see a lot of your wishes being fulfilled because it's a new beginning for you. Is a justice card. Somebody just wants peace. That's what somebody's just saying. Hey, you know what? I just want peace. I just, I just want peace. So somebody's deciding just peace. So something is over. <coughs> something is over. Somebody's on the rebirth side. Somebody just wants peace. So back in the saddle again. Yeah. So. You're trying to balance some things out. And so you have some new inspiration now. So somebody is now in prayer and meditation. You know, somebody is in prayer and meditation mode, right? Learning how to be in receiving mode of just how you communicate versus how other people communicate. Somebody is trying to balance it out within, right? Balance it out within. Just really learning how you communicate versus how some other people communicate, right? So yeah, something is it's a new beginning. Yeah, something is a new beginning. So you may be joking around, you know, um, how how you joke versus how other people joke. You know, like some people call it like maybe slang, like clown. How you may clown, how other people may clown. I mean, I don't know. Take only what resonates with you. Some people may have been clowned or talked about you know their entire lives and it for them it may have caused them depression it may have caused them to feel like they've been walking on eggshells their whole lives around people they may not know what to say so source is saying to you for some people and you want and there's a younger person involved here so somebody could have kids right somebody may have kids right these two little kids right here somebody may want to consider that too so there's a new beginning happening here there's a new beginning happening here. So.
For somebody, it could have been a nightmare growing up. Somebody's learning. So that's what somebody is learning here. Here we have the Ace of Cups here. It's like a brand new beginning, a brand new start here. If somebody was talked about behind their back, some people just handle it differently. So if somebody, because they look, I got to see two women here on this card, right? So somebody could have grown up in the same sex household and, and the kids may have been talked about, a child may have been talked about behind their back or clowned, you know, um, behind their back. It could have just been a complete nightmare. They could have been bullied, beat up. I mean, all kinds of stuff, you know, on the card. You know, they could have been looking for somebody to save them. I mean, it just... Seeds could have been planted. It was just a whole lot of stuff that's going on, you know, in the cards. Um, and so somebody is, and something just was a nightmare for somebody. It was just like they were just reliving a nightmare their whole life. So to hear somebody, to grow up and hear something. Because I know that because the Seven of Pentacles, that's developed between the ages of zero through seven. Something was just completely out of balance from the beginning. From the very beginning. So somebody's been in survival mode. Is this the nine of pentacles? So, um, looks like looking at the cards here, and then that, that may that just could just be on that card, right? So, let's say it wasn't a same sex relationship, it could have been something like a political party, you know, like some people believe that because certain people people are a certain skin color, they should vote for a particular party. I mean, they could have had a my parents could have had a bumper sticker you know, in the back of their car, and they could have been teased, or it could have been a nightmare because their parents were insensitive, or could could go to a particular, like, worship, you know, place or whatever, um, and it just could have been a nightmare their whole life, right? Something could have caused something, could have caused this, you know, in their lives. So, sources saying everybody, everybody can't handle this. Everybody can't handle this. So, somebody is now considering now you know, if you have kids, somebody is now considering that. And unfortunately, now people have cyberbullying. Now people have cyberbullying, right? Which law enforcement is cracking down on. So, right? so um, source is saying, you know, sources or at least trying to, but uh, source is saying somebody is learning how to, you know, stop adding to nightmares somebody is learning how to stop adding to nightmares by talking about people behind their back this person is looking back stop talking about people behind their back this might have been talking about you behind your back and it could have caused you a lot of nightmares a lot of sleepless nights or somebody could have been talking about you and your person behind your back if you have kids it could have been causing it could have been causing them nightmares you don't even know about it so somebody is re reassessing some things. Somebody is, um, somebody is reassessing a lot of things at this point. Somebody's about to feel like they have feel like they have a whole new lease on life at this point. Yeah. Your head and heart won't be at war with each other. Um, you're leaving something behind. It's an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that somebody is leaving behind. Um, it's either it, it's two energies. It's um, somebody's somebody is it Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, Sun, and or Moon sign. You're leaving them behind. As you get you somebody just getting tired of people being talked to like they just like talk to any kind of way. You somebody's just tired of hearing it. That is a form. That's for a form of dark magic. That is a form of dark spell work. Words are spells, spellings, and it can literally cause people to have a nervous breakdown. That's why so much stuff that's happening now because Pluto is in Aquarius, and there's really a real strong call to agape love. So there's a lot for people to learn. There's a lot of for people to learn. So. Um, Something for you is going to feel like a win-win because you are taking action to, you know, um, stop participating or even like, you know, join in, 
you know, clown activity, you know, like even clowning people. You don't want those seeds to be planted in you, your kids. You don't even want to be around that kind of conversation. Somebody doesn't even want to be around that conversation anymore. So your ancestors are, um, your ancestors, like I said, somebody believed you when you told them something that you wanted to be when you grow up and they didn't clown you or tease you. And so, and they believed in you, right? So, um, creativity, that's, sen that's sensitivity. That's a gift. Sensitivity is a gift, right? So, that art, that artistry is a gift. And it makes people really, really sensitive. Like, imagine somebody say, you know what? I wrote this song, you know, you're the, you're the person I, I, I want you to hear this. That's the first song. You're the first person I want to, you know, um, hear me play this song and imagine if you your person you're the only person that's ever heard it and you went and gossiped about it or your your kids came to you and they told you something that was they had a crush or they you know something that was you know sacred to them and they went and you know you you know teased them or something about it that may cause them to shut down or hurt in some way shape form or fashion you know, that causes some people to have a breakdown. So for somebody, it may be time to start dating again, but you're on your journey. But um, something may have been just a nightmare for somebody. So it's time to move on. Ask source for clarity. Listen to your intuition. Your laughter is medicine. Check your request list again. And so um, you have the gift of precognition. This is foreknowledge about something. Um, you have the gift of clairsentience. The best is yet to come. Um... It's trying to close out the cycle. Something, somebody could have been um, dating somebody that was trying to control you. Somebody could have been dating somebody that was just trying to control, you know, your, your emotions or something. But something is starting to become a lot clearer to you. You could have been friends with somebody who was trying to control your emotions. Could have been Gemini, Scorpio. Could have been a Leo. Could have been a Libra. Could have been a Virgo. Um, yeah, whoever the, whoever the energy was, <clears throat> whoever the energy was, source is saying, yeah, <clears throat> everybody doesn't take joking around the same. Um, everybody doesn't take joking around the same. But anyway, put yourselves first, <clears throat> pray for them, um, or if you want to, but. Um, your ancestors are very proud of you for, you know, um, you know, believing in yourself, believing in your dreams again. So that's what you want to like, you know, when you're writing down, you know, what you're grateful for, you're grateful for your ancestors believing in you and just, just turning your attention and your focus back to that during this time, really just kind of in that vulnerable space, journaling that again. Okay. I'm getting back to that. I'm putting all my focus back on believing in my dreams again. That's how you're going to balance it out. That is how you're going to balance it out. Believing in your dreams again. Making yourselves a meal. Something very healthy. Learning how to believe in your dreams again. Extraordinary. There's a wild and impetuous uniqueness to you that deserves to be honored. All right. That is, let me see if there's a number. Yeah, let's get a number. That's what I have for you all, Leo. Thank you for joining me. If you all want to participate in the giveaway, we're in Sagittarius season. And that ends at the end of Sagittarius season, whatever that date is. So you can check out the Sagittarius video and follow the instructions. 21, I'm inspiring. So you, have, you're, you are highly creative with a, a strong will to succeed. Your imagination is highly charged. It reveals itself in everything that you do, from your sparkling conversation to your most prized projects. That is what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.